All right, so if you guys have followed us over the years, you probably already know that we're fanatics when it comes to taking trophy photos. We love having those memories in picture form. And so today I'm gonna to talk a little bit how we take our trophy photos. I think a lot of times people maybe speed through this process. And like I had mentioned for us, that's kind of like one of the most important parts. So um, it's important to not have as much blood and gore on the picture, especially if you're gonna be posting it to social media platforms. Yeah, it doesn't matter what other people think, but if you're trying to get new people into the sport or maybe somebody's looking at it that's not a hunter, that might kind of turn them away. So we try to clean them up as best as we can if there's any blood. Um, we like to put their tongue back in their mouth. Sometimes that can, can kind of hang out and, and looks a little bit odd. If you take pictures after you gut the deer, we always like to, to prop them up as you see here. So that's on the underside. Usually takes a couple of guys to do that, especially if you have a, a bigger body deer, but it looks a lot better in the photos if, if they're propped up um, and not you know laying back on their side. As far as where you want to be behind the deer, um, we see all kinds of different stuff, and this is preference really, but I always like to hide as best as I can my legs behind his body. You see some guys and they'll set up, like you kind of sticking out over him or they'll sit behind him and their, you know, their feet are kind of sticking out, which to me just kind of takes away from the, the head and the rack of the deer and kind of draws your attention to just something kind of janky sticking out. So if you can, we always like to, you know, tuck these back a little bit, hide them, or you can, you know, use your knee like this to, to kind of prop up his head and tuck your other leg back here. And then obviously, depending on the deer, some angles look better than others. So um, if you have a guy that's you know running the camera for you, he can kind of determine what looks good. Um, but yeah, just something we wanted to talk about. Even if you have a cell phone anymore, a lot of the cell phones shoot great photos. Um, you don't have to have the nicest camera gear in order to get good trophy photos to have um, you know, for years to come. But uh, that's just a few main points. We always bend, like I said, the front leg up and then kind of spread the back legs out. It's just how they, they prop up best. And other than that, I think pretty much covers it. And if you guys have any questions about how we shoot our trophy pictures, or if we didn't cover something you were wondering, drop us a comment and let us know.